Today I'll be showing you how to make these boho Christmas stockings. If you would like to win two of these stockings, I'll be posting a giveaway this Sunday on my Instagram. To make the stockings, I'll be using these linen tablecloths. I picked these up in Kmart for $12 each. I drew up a pattern for the style of stocking I wanted to make. You can do this too, or trace a stocking you already have. I drew mine on baking paper, then cut it out. Remember to include seam allowance. I'm using a 1cm seam allowance. Here I have two layers of linen. I'm lining my stocking pattern up to the top edge of the fabric. I'm doing this because the edge is already finished and this will save time having to sew the top edge. Then I'm pinning the pattern to the fabric and cutting it out. I always like to pin my edges first so that my pattern is nice and straight before I pin the rest of the pattern. Once you have finished pinning, go ahead and cut your pattern out. Can we all take a moment to appreciate how pretty these scissors are? I'm sure nobody else gets as excited about scissors as I do. I have a diploma in fashion design and technology and have done a ridiculous amount of cutting up fabric. So I appreciate a good pair of quality scissors that also look really pretty. Now that you have finished admiring my beautiful scissors, go ahead and remove all of the pins. Now take one side of the stocking and decide which way you want your stocking to face. For this one, I made it facing to the right. These are all the trims I'll be using. I bought them all on eBay for a few dollars each. I have them all linked in the description box down below. Here I'm just deciding where I want what trim to go and then cutting it to the same width as the stocking. Once you have finished how you want to lay the trims out, go ahead and pin them all down. You don't have to sew them on, you can also glue them on if you like. To make the tassel, cut out a piece of cardboard roughly the length you want your tassel to be. I'm making mine about 10 centimeters in height. I'm using cotton string. If you live in Australia, you can get this at Bunnings. I'll also have it linked in the description box if you want to buy it online. Here I'm wrapping my cotton string around the piece of cardboard. The more times you wrap it, the thicker the tassel will be. When you are happy with the thickness of your tassel, just snip the bottom edge open. Then you're going to lay your strings flat and tie a long piece of string around the middle section. Next, I'm adding a wooden bead. I bought this garland from Kmart and I'm just chopping it up. I am also adding a gold bead. These ones I bought on eBay and have linked in the description box down below as well. If you're having trouble threading the cotton through the bead, you can just hold it firmly in your fingers and twist it tight, or you could use a yarn needle. After you have threaded your beads on, tie a knot in the top of the string. Next, take a small piece of string and tie it about a quarter of the way down the tassel. To finish the tassel off, use a comb to brush the threads apart. This will create a fluffier tassel. Now we're ready to sew the stocking together. I'm starting by sewing all of my trims down. I'm using a stitch length of three. Cut a small piece of jute string and fold it in half. Take the other stocking piece you cut out earlier and place the string on the back edge facing inwards. Then stitch it down making sure it's within the 1cm seam allowance. Place your stocking pieces right sides together then stitch a 1cm seam allowance around the edge. I'm using a stitch length of 2.5. I also attached the tassel to the front piece before sewing this together. Next, you're going to cut small triangles on all of your curved edges. 
This will help to get a smooth line when you turn the stocking inside out. Now you're ready to turn your stocking inside out. Here I'm using machine tweezers and running them along the seams on the inside of the stocking. This will help to smooth out the seam lines. Flathead screwdrivers also work well if you don't have tweezers. To finish the stocking off, I'm just cutting out any little bulky pieces and threads that are sticking out. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more. I will be posting a Christmas DIY every day until Christmas Eve.